My name is Samantha. I'm going to quickly show you how you can get rid of the fill stitch. So in Design Shop version 10, it, the same thing applies in version 9. So when you see a satin stitch going from a satin over into a fill, it's toggling back and forth for the wider stitches. First off, why that's happening is because of a property in the object properties. So if I go into the object properties and look at under top stitching, you'll see there's this property here that says use fill for stitch lines greater than and then there's a number. What that does is it's basically saying if any line gets longer than 60 points. So right now that one's 59 points. By the time I get down here, I'm at 63 points. So because of that, it's toggling between satin and fill until it gets narrow again. So in this case, I can set this to 70 and you'll see it goes away. It, now, if you set it to 70 and you still have fill stitch, you might want to reconsider doing something else. The longer those stitches get, the more prone they are to snagging. I wouldn't recommend using anything over about 70 points um, just for the longevity of the garment. And if you have to change it, you can also do things like auto split. Um, where it'll add a split along the wider areas and you can specify where that happens and whatnot and play with the different things there. So, But other than that, I would usually leave it as a fill type or as a stitch type of satin. Set this to 70 and that will get you a nice smooth satin stitch the full way. I hope this was helpful.